the power load on that generator was such that when Wendy was using the waffle iron, the lights would dim as she poured the batter onto the iron. Today is Friday. It's been a week since the first tree hit our house, and we have still not heard from the insurance adjuster. And the electricity still isn't back yet. I'm taking today off from work, but I'll be going back into work tomorrow. It's nice to have the extra day to take care of things out here. But the amount of cleanup work out here is a little intimidating. Our regular chores still need to get done, so we're just taking things one step at a time. Mostly so far, I've just moved big branches around that have come down out of the trees. These really big ones are gonna be cut up for firewood later, and I've got a number of piles of smaller branches that are ready for chipping and shredding. I'll show you those in a little bit. I have made some progress on this driveway Remember what it looked like before? About a third of it has been hauled off by the folks who came out to take care of the trees for us that had hit our house and some of the other structures. The other third I've shoveled out into the goat area for our goats to eat as much as they can. This last third here, which I still haven't done anything with, I think I'll probably just shovel off into a big pile and then slowly just get rid of it in our yard debris bin over the next few weeks. I'll just walk around and show you some of the sticks, some of the piles of sticks that I've got around here. Some of them are pre-positioned so that I can chip and shred them right into areas where I can use them or store the chipped and shredded material for use later. Some of the piles were just convenient to throw them out of the way and I'll have to move them to chip and shred later. There is a lot of work to do out here. Some more firewood for my dad. And once I'm done with this, I can actually park my van back where I like to. These branches right here all came down right back here. That biggest one was literally right here in front of the steps.
I'll give you a better look at it than I did the other day. Like I said, I'm really glad it didn't crush our chicken coop. It very well could have. I can lift this thing, but it's not easy. I'll show you, I, I'm not sure how heavy it is, but I'll show you how hard it is to lift. I don't know if that's where it's gonna remain. I might move it somewhere else. I might just chop it up. It's pretty heavy if I wanted to move it somewhere else. I don't think I'd want to move it very far by myself. I haven't got back here yet. There's a lot of places I haven't gotten back to. This pile will be very convenient to send the to send the bark mulch up that way. Folks might be interested in how well that generator is working for us. And it's running all of our freezers and refrigerators. We've got extension cords kind of going all over the house. Wendy drug a lamp into the kitchen so it's a little easier for her to do dishes and cook. And, and it's just nice to have a little bit of light in the house rather than just flashlights or candles. Last night, we actually plugged in our TV and the DVD player and watched a movie that Wendy has wanted to see in a while, Pete's Dragon. Just a quick side note. The power load on that generator was such that when Wendy was using the waffle iron, the lights would dim as she poured the batter onto the iron. Under those conditions, Wendy and I didn't think it was very safe to use our computers plugged into the generator with power surges and somewhat unreliable current. So I wasn't able to work on any videos throughout this whole time that we didn't have electricity. I wanted to add a couple more things. First, thank you to Wendy for being so patient with me. As we've been using this generator, I've let it run out of gas and then took advantage of the peace and quiet to shoot some of the video segments. So while I'm out here yakking away, Wendy's been out of electricity. Second, I do apologize for the noise of the generator. It is grating, and that's why we waited so long before borrowing the generator from my dad. We live right on the edge of urban and rural, and in the past, when the electricity's gone out, it's always been pretty quick to come back on. We were hopeful that that would be the case this time. Obviously, it wasn't.
Yeah, look at that hair. Look at that hairdo. You're so silly. You're such a baby. Yes, you just want hugs. But you stink. You stink really, really bad. Yes. Not so much when you're standing next to you, but if you get a touch on you, you get it on you for life. <laughs> Side. I was out towards the front of my property getting food and water for our quail when I saw a couple of PGE guys out here working it's nice to see that they're finally taking notice of our street. I came over without the camera and asked them about it. They said that running new lines shouldn't take too long and that at least there weren't any of the power poles down. So maybe a day or so, but you can see We've got lines just lying down on the street in this uh, ditch here. So it's been that way for quite a few days. I've got to get out here sometime and cut up all this stuff that came out of our big trees. Everywhere I look, there's more stuff to do. I'll get to it in time. I gave up on the chipping and shredding. The chipper shredder was acting up a little. 
I think I'll need to take it in for some service. At the very least, it does need to have the blades sharpened. But I got more of the driveway shoveled. good to make a little progress. Without the chipper shredder, the piles of things to chip and shred around here are just going to get larger. But even if we had the chipper shredder going, there's still plenty of debris out here that just isn't suitable for either firewood or for chipping and shredding. So Wendy is going to start burning some of it in our fire pit. Right here, I've got a roll cart full of some awkward little pieces that would just tend to jam up the chipper shredder. So this is ideal to burn. It's all just it's really small stuff, so it's not really even hardly worth drying out and using as firewood for ourselves inside. So this stuff is the small cedar debris. I'm going to throw I'm going to throw some of it into the chicken run because the chickens will enjoy scratching through it and somebody might as well enjoy it. Better to use it than just throw it away or burn it if we can. generator but Wendy has 
laid out those awkward twigs around the fire to dry out before she puts it on just to facilitate the fire a little more efficiently good stuff
What's that? The wind is all sorts of weird right now because I keep seeing the smoke go around the, <laughs> the side of the house and then the wind changes and then I see the smoke coming <laughs> back that way or on the other side. It's weird. <laughs> Great. All right, so the sun has just gone down and it looks like the crews are out here to start working. This is very good news.